Hey guys, today we're gonna to be installing the Corbin Custom Works side-by-side -side street legal kit. So we have a 2022 Can-Am Maverick X3 and we're gonna be installing the new ghost lights, which you can see under this pile. These should be awesome to have for our turn signals. And we're gonna show you how to install the whole kit. So the first thing we're gonna do is go back over here by our buddy John and show you how to remove the back passenger seat. All right, so we are at the rear passenger side seat on the X3, and we removed the bottom padding for the seat, so it's just attached by Velcro here. So you need to use an eight mm or 18 millimeter socket to gain access to these two holes. So we're gonna go through and take those out and then do the next step. All right, so now that we have those bolts out, we pushed the back seat forward. We just pulled it up. And the next step is to remove the seat belt bolt right there if you have a three-point seat belt, which is what we have. All right, so now that we have that done, the next step is to remove the front bolts. So these are the two bolts on the front of the seat. So we're going to be doing this and then we're going to go ahead and remove the front passenger seat as well since we have a four seater. So we're going to take these front bolts out of the back seat and then we're going to take the front passenger seat out and for this you need a 13 millimeter socket. So now we're going to remove the seat from side by side. Maybe. So we have the back passenger side seat removed and now you're going to repeat the exact same process on the front passenger seat. Now that we have the front seat removed on the passenger side, we're going to be taking these panels off. So this front panel here just pries away. There's nothing else that you need to unscrew to take it out of place. So you just pry that off. Have to use a little bit of force at first. So we have a T30, we're going to be removing three torque screws for the rear panel in the front seat. So now that we have the panels off, we're going to be removing the panel between the dash and the center console in the front. And it has two Torx bolts and two plastic retaining pins on the side of it. So we have our turn signal wire harness out. And we have to begin routing the left and right rear connectors of the turn signal wire harness to the rear end of the machine. So it says to follow the existing wire harness in the engine bay area. So we're going to start going through here through the back of the machine, and then we'll show you once we get it wiggled through. So we ran the wires from the inside of the side-by-side -side out the back, and you can see this right here, we are on the driver's side. So this is for the rear left light. So we have the wiring connectors in there and we are now going to be attaching the new one to the original which is right in this area here. So we are on the passenger side now on the back end and we are going to be connecting the right rear light into the original harness so that is right in this area here all right so now that the back end is done we are going to the inside of the side by side to route the remaining turn signal wire harness to the front of the vehicle so to do this we're going to follow the existing wiring through the grommet out to the radiator area 
So out in front of the side by side, we're going to be cutting the zip tie where the original wiring goes for the front lights. That way we can feed the new harness through and the new wiring. All right, so these are the remaining connections that we have. So if you look at this one here, it says connector A on it. This one is going to get run up to the dash so we can get it plugged into the module. And then these two are gonna get ran to, through the front of the side-by-side -side towards the radiator. And then we will split them off properly to go to the left front light and the right front light. So that's what we're gonna do next. What we did is we ran a wire through the front end and we connected it here. So we're just gonna pull the wire through. We pulled the wires through the front end here. So we're just gonna untangle those and then we're gonna start running them to the proper sides of the side by side. And for those wondering why we have the whole front end torn apart, we installed a fan shroud and a bumper for the winch on the bottom and a couple other things. So we figured since we've already got this torn apart, we might as well run everything else through. All right, this is the original plug um, that was originally on. This is the new plug. Take the original plug, plug it right into the new one, snap it in, and then you have the connector here for the other light, which the will other be the light, ghost light, the ghost light. All right, so now that we have the front light connectors connected to the new harnesses, this is the instructions here. It shows to remove the whole front end with all these different bolts, which you'll see in the instructions as well. We already did all of that yesterday when we were installing other items, so we're going to skip over that. And then it says to go ahead for the wheel wells to remove a couple other Torx bolts. We did that as well since we were installing mud flaps. Um, so as you can see up here is the whole front hood area. We're going to bring that down and we're going to be working on the headlight area and the signature lights to install the ghost lights. So next we're going to remove uh, the bolt on the back of the headlamp using a 7 millimeter socket. So we're going to do that on both the driver and passenger side. Next we're going to be removing a T30 torque screw next to the stud that is holding the headlight in place. Remove three Torx bolts from the shroud panel. So we, it says in the directions that they recommend working on one side at a time to be able to keep track of hardware. So we're going to be using, um, is this an eight millimeter? Yes. All right. So we've got an eight millimeter wrench here. All right, so now we'll remove the light and we're gonna put the ghost light in. So here's the new ghost light. So we're gonna slide it down in here. And now we gotta put it all back together. All right, now we have the new ghost lights in. So it's time to put the original factory headlights back on. So we're gonna bring the headlights down here and we're gonna line this up right there. So a lot of people wonder why there's a gap and there's just a little gap in here. So just note that's normal. These pieces of plastic line up to be smooth. So we got the turn signal control module out and we plugged in the hazard portion and the turn signal portion into it. So you'll find that in one of the bags as well. And then the next thing we're gonna do is remove the fuse from the fuse holder on the horn wire harness and disconnect the negative terminal from the battery. Wiring the horn wire harness. So we already disconnected the negative terminal from the battery. So there's the three post terminal block behind the shifter, which you can see right there. We're going to be connecting the black wire to the negative side or to the negative stud and then the red wire to the positive stud. Now the next thing we're going to do is route the end of the wire harness with the blue and black wires to the front of the vehicle. And then we're going to follow the existing wire just like we did for the front lights towards the radiator. 
So then after that, we're going to route the harness with the blue and red wires up towards the side of the dashboard so we can plug those in with the switches in a little bit. We're going to take this out here to put our turn signal switch in. So this is easy if you just have a flathead screwdriver, it'll just pop right out. And then we're going to run the wires through here and then it's going to connect to this end here. So with the horn harness, we're going to take the red and blue wires and put them into marked positions, which are four and five. So you'll notice that it's hard to see probably in the video, but on the side of this here, there are numbers. You're just gonna look for number four and number five, and we're gonna put the red one in number four and the blue one in number five. So now we're going to be plugging the switch connectors to the corresponding switches and putting the switches into the dash. So Corbin Custom Works supplies some dielectric um, so we can put that on the terminals on the switch connectors. So that's what we're going to do right now. So at this point we are almost done installing the street legal kit so we're going to be installing the horn next. And we have a different radiator support from Fast Lab UTV. So this one already came with holes pre-drilled in the front here and here. So we're going to be mounting the horn up here. If you have the original plastic fan shroud, you will have to drill a quarter inch hole in the upper radiator support, which is shown in the instructions right here. So we've got a black wire and a blue wire down here. We're going to connect those to the horn and then get the horn mounted. So at this point we're going to be putting the original fuses back in. So it's a 10 amp fuse for the turn signals and a 15 amp fuse for the horn. And after that we're going to reconnect the battery. Then we're going to rehook up the lights to the front end and test everything out to make sure it works. We got the battery reconnected. We're going to start the side by side up and run through it to make sure everything works before zip tying everything down and putting all the connections on. So here we go. Right turn, okay, left turn. And left turn, 